Hello guys, what's going on? This is Kicks on the Rise here. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of 2K, my player, or my career, whatever you want to call it. And basically what I'm going to be doing is basically what I just said. There's no really explaining to that. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and create a new guy. And his name will be Jake Monster. His name will be The Monster. Or his nickname will be Monster. I wish they would just go by my regular name. For, for some reason they can't. Look at all these names. Alright. Where's Monster? Oh, it's the Monster. Okay. What the heck just happened? Alright, I know what happened actually. Alright. The Monster. There we go. Alright, um, point guard. We do want point guard. Athletic. Let's go to Texas real quick. For no apparent reason. Alright, um. February 21st. That's good enough. Jersey number 10. That's my number. Three point mid range. There we go. Height 6'4, 185, 190. Alright, um, headband. Yes. Right side. Undershirt, yeah, black. Left elbow. We want that hex thing. No, not that. It's on their arm, isn't it? There we go. Black. Right arm. Like that. And then left and right knee. Like that. And then we need the other knee. Like, oops. Like that. We're good. Alright, everything else is looking fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to resave this over YouTube. Uh, because I did upload one and it... My mind player didn't save, so I had to take it down, sadly. And I am using an Xbox controller on here, so if you're wondering why it has those... I am still using the PC version. Because it's cheaper than the Xbox version and it's easier to record than the Xbox. Cheaper to record. Uh, but I will end up moving to the console once I get more money. Hopefully by 2K15 I'll have enough money for a new console and uh, recording software. But let's go ahead and get into it. I am going for a B minus. Catching up on the changes for the stars, Olenek is checked in for Plumlee, and it's Burt nice. for Holloway. Nice. Count that one. At least my player ain't horrible. No. I mean, you can just see the potential. And you know, there was a time when it might have been hard to get all the top prospects in one gym together to go head to head. Yeah, fortunately those days are in the past, and for those of us who love the game, it's really such a treat to see these young players come out and compete. To the inside. Assist, yep, let's go. First assist of the game. Second quarter. That's how we do it. They've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in. Here's the monster. Dishes it to Beal. Here's the monster. Defended by Carter Williams. Barnes passes to the monster. Shot clock cheese. Let's go. B plus. Add a way to do it to assist this game. The thing you notice right off the bat from the corner. Yeah. Beal gets a screen. That's it. Another assist. Yes. And that's 12 points here for Beal. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Burt gets to Carter Williams. Now the pass to Hardaway. There's the dish to Burke. That drops. Boy, that was impressive. All right, give me that ball. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and get this. Offensive. lead by two. You gotta love the way he's competing out there, making believers out of these team reps. Going back to his. All right, nice. He might be a guy who climbs up a bit. Come draft him. On the court for the Stars. Carter Williams is out there with Burke. Then it's Anthony. If you want to be seen by an NBA front office, this is the place to be. It's just one game, and you've got their full attention. Shot is off. 
Boy, that was a tough one because if that goes down, you tie the score. And you know they wanted to go down. They put together a nice run. That would have tied. You know, and the work he's been doing on the backboard, that's something to see. All right, we got that A minus. That's what we wanted. The Barnes pass to the monster. All right, let's try to get this assist right here. Barnes, you got it. Tie game. Let's go. Nice. More points for me. That takes the lead. Monster passes to Jones. Six on the shot clock. Not good. Yeah, that's an A right there. Nice steal. That that basically shut them away. That that shut them away right there. Really nice. No. Oh my god, we're going into overtime, aren't we? We go into overtime every single time. It's not even funny. And we welcome you back to one of the hottest tickets of the entire year. The rookie showcase presented by Champs. Such a great opportunity for these young players to test their skills against their peers. You got plus so I mean, it would be really I'd have, have to be getting so this many assists at the upcoming talent for the future of the NBA well with those with those kind of plays happening it'll be pretty easy and excuse my phone for vibrating but I am beasting out I'm all, I almost got have an a plus right here it's pretty awesome Davis is there Yeah, let's go. I got a rebound too. That's everything's going right so far. Yeah. All right, that was a little bit early, I think. Oh no, we missed one free throw, but that, that's good enough. We just need to stop them from shooting any more threes. All right, looks like we're gonna be shooting more free throws. Good opportunity for me to score some points. You misses at the line and they're in good shape. Good on the first, and that makes it a three point lead. And it can oh my god. Second, that misses. I need to get a better free throw form. To tie it up. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. We win that game in overtime thanks to me and my team. I got so many assists. A plus. Hopefully, I'm player of the game. That would be pretty sick if I was, but you know how it is. They usually don't give the my players player of the game ever. Even when you score like 80 points, they they be like, ah, let's give it to you, someone else. But um, I got an A plus. That's really, really, really good. I really enjoyed this game, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the interviews into the draft. How many VC did I get? 226 SP. That's pretty awesome. Pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and get into it. Who's player of the game? Wasn't me. Yeah, of course, Bradley Beal. Okay, let's go ahead and quit, and it'll say that we're going to have some interviews with some people. I'm going to be go, go ahead and be quiet right now. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and president of team operations for the Dallas Mavericks. We have the 13th pick in the draft and considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Here in Dallas, we have an owner whose goal for this franchise every year is to bring home a title. He's willing to spend a lot of money to make that happen, as he has proven in the past. We bring players in, and if they don't perform, we bring in new players who will. There's a lot of pressure to perform here. Do you think you can handle that kind of pressure? There's been pressure for me to perform for my entire life. Obviously, you know, it's never been on this scale, but it was pressure nonetheless. All I want is to win, and that's clearly what the goal is in Dallas. 
I want to be a part of that tradition in a big way. Interesting. Next question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Primarily my focus and being mentally uh, tougher. I need to study the game and watch the players in front of me and learn. I also need to learn from the veteran guys so I can step in and contribute when my name is called. Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. We'll be in touch. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We're looking for someone with the 11th pick who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. I'd just like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Yeah, I can really get behind a fan base that wants to win and will do anything to get it. We're very alike in that regard. I've always given 100% of myself to the game. It's not all about me. When I put on a jersey, I have a responsibility to not only myself, but also to my teammates and the fans of that team. I think Philly fans and I are on the same level. I think it'd be a mutual love. Okay, last question. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Honestly, I, I don't care about any of that. I want to play for your team, whatever pick it is. To me, it's not about going number one or going in the lottery. I want to go to a team that is a great fit for me, and I definitely think you guys fit that bill for me. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Boston Celtics. We have the 16th pick in this draft, and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we would like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. We had a lot of turnover here in Boston, but are still looking to be a team that can win the title. There is a tremendous amount of pressure to win here for any player, much less a rookie. Do you feel you're prepared to step in and fill the shoes of some of the great players that have left our team in the past months? I'm definitely that kind of player. I don't want to come into a situation where the franchise is kind of feeling itself out. You, you know, the, the Celtics have a long tradition of winning titles and staying competitive. It comes with pressure, but I thrive in that sort of environment, and I definitely welcome the challenge that playing for the Celtics presents, man. All right, then, one more. Point guard is really the one position this team is solid in long term. We believe in Rondo, and we're not looking to draft a player to challenge him for the starting role. If we were to draft you, we wouldn't want you to feel like we're grooming you to be a career backup. We love your talent. One thought is to try and convert you to a shooting guard, such as that you could play alongside Rajon. What do you think about that idea? Uh, if you guys end up drafting me and that's what the team needs, then I'm more than willing to do anything to help the team. My goal has always been to play in the NBA. I know I'm not going to walk onto a team of this quality and demand the ball every time down the court. And I'm willing to put in my time, learn a new position, and ultimately, I know I'll be a better player because of it. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. All right, let's go ahead and skip until I get picked. See y'all later in like probably like a second for you guys. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. 2013 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select the 21-year-old point guard from the University of Texas. 
All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and be a member of the Celtics. I don't think I'll have to be traded anytime soon because this team is pretty solid, and I know we can do some stuff this year. Let's go ahead and get into our contract negotiations, and then I'll spend about five hours editing this video to upload it. All right, looking fine with me. Let's go ahead and get into our rookie year. I'm not going to do any games this episode, but I will definitely next episode. Dear Jake, I can't begin to tell you how excited we are that you are now a part of this team. I'm basically paraphrasing. We started a brand new ad called He's Got Next on the billboards around town, completely centered around your arrival. Let us know what you think of the idea. Nice. What the heck? Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh save. So nothing happens. There we go. See you guys later. Peace.